do uh, Mickey Mouse uh, ears to my uh, photo albums. And then, well, I was like a very uh, inspired by the Bauhaus and the Great Depression uh, cartoons. And when I had the chance to do a project in Montreal at Velvet uh, Speakeasy, uh, I thought about it. I was like, okay, this is my fetish and uh, I can do it for real. I can collaborate with uh, artists and uh, designers and stylists from around the, around the world. So uh, that's the way uh, Mad Mouse was born. Was born. Perfect. Mad Mouse is born from your, uh, your childhood invention. Yes. Well, Mad Mouse is all about uh, dark clothes, very couture uh, style, electronic music, and very creative people. Because fashion is like uh, the way to express ourselves, and music too, uh, through dance and everything, you know? And design, well, I just love design, so... Well, I mix high and low all the time. I come from a family, my mother wore uh, Yves Saint Laurent, Dior, so I am used to uh, that kind of fashion, high fashion. But at the same time, I'm a very eclectic person, so I like to pick things from street fashion, from uh, every uh, subculture. For Mad Mouse, for me, Mad Mouse, it's all about connections. Beyond the uh, marketing uh, stuff, like the Mickey Mouse ears, when I bring an artist to Montreal or to Toronto, I like to people to connect with that person. For example, I'm bringing the Miss Shapes to uh, Montreal. And many persons, many uh, kids in Montreal don't have the, uh, the access to go to uh, Fashion Weeks in Paris or Milan and they will never meet those, those kind of artists there. So I bring them to my parties and people can connect with them. So it's all about connection.